Bitcoin news and AI and HPC and mining and, and all the stuff in between. I'm basing my investment decisions off of this, but of course, it's never financial advice here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. I'm Vosk, I'll be your host today. I'm also always your host on this, so <laughs> let's dig into it. I run my own mining farm and a peasant compared to these top public miners, which now control nearly one third of global hash rate up almost 10 percentage points year over year. This underscores uh, the shift in how capital access, hardware upgrades, energy diversification have enabled listed miners to expand faster than private peers, even in a post having environment marked by lower margins taken from the miner mag. Here's the mining leaderboard and how this shakes everything up prior to the Q3 earnings coming out here. Uh, so we look at September 24 and September 25. I mean, like th these are these are crazy differences, right? You know, Mara, big dog, big winner. Yeah, well, guess what? Mara is toast compared to the massive progress that some of these are making against them. One, one look at Bitmain's proxy, Kango. Oh my gosh, what a move year over year. Uh, then you look at iron one of the best investments in a stock that is associated with bitcoin over the last year or so uh but really like the the second tier uh, as they're called here are making huge progress and a lot of these numbers are still things to be very proud of cypher doubled hive almost forexed bit deer forexed riot 50 percent up iron 3x clean spark doubled and they were already huge mara progress sure uh, Terra Wolf, it's been a good investment, but a disappointing increase there on that year on year growth. Of course, Scientific remains embroiled in their bankruptcy proceedings, but still growing. Uh, Cypher Mining, Bitdeer, and Hive have all surged in the upper ranks, narrowing the gap with long established leaders, Mara, CleanSpark, and Bitmain's proxy, Kango, there. Uh, collectively, the top miners reached 326 exahash of realized hash rate in uh, September 25, up from 150 exahash a year earlier. 31% of uh, Bitcoin's network total hash rate compared with 22 last September. Like that, that's huge. That's crazy. That's intimidating. That's scary. Speaking of core, uh, they get an upgrade from uh, Roth as core weave deal becomes a less likely. Nscale founding director exit AI infrastructure provider in the wake of a 1.1 billion. Yeah, with the B investment round the company was created through a spin-off from a cryptocurrency mining and renewable powered energy infrastructure provider archon energy british columbia seeks a permanent ban on new crypto mining projects oh you yeah. bc canada's so doomed i've recently shut off a bunch of uh my inefficient bitcoin miners basically previous generation s19 series uh shut down about 20 miners on the bitcoin mining front uh so my actual my my workers here are down significantly uh these three workers will come back online uh, my 24-hour hash rate is down towards like seven petahash a second um i do have uh Two miners, two S21 XPs in for repair, right? So that's over 500 tear hash. And I also just got one back in, but I'm probably gonna send that one off to be hosted uh, because I'm gonna swap that out for another hosted miner uh, that I already have. I've also flipped over my miners from my private mining pool to CK pool to make it easier here showing the tube. And uh, the point is that I flipped over three full size Bitcoin miners and then a bunch of mini miners. Uh, so taking my shot at solo mining a Bitcoin block and uh, based on the odds on solarluck.com, that's 576, I've got a 1 in 36 chance over the next uh, year to do that, you know, if all things stayed the same, which of course they never do. Uh, but either way, that's cool. I'm game for it. Network hash rate continues to go up. I mean, it's huge growth. Uh, we go back about a year. We see a hash of 779, right? And then recently peaked here, 1095. So huge network growth in a time where a lot of previous generations uh, hardware is also being forced to come offline and that's going to continue to be the case uh, smaller guys like me with bad electric rates uh, compared to the publicly traded mining farms um, are going to start having to capitulate here because you're just going to burn way more way more than you earn and even bitcoin 2x and it's just not really going to add up and make enough sense for you but hey applied digital announces a five billion dollar ai factory lease with us based investment grade hyperscaler at polaris forge uh in uh, two in their north dakota campus there a 15-year lease to deliver 200 megawatts of critical it capacity uh and and what do, you, what do you see here you see the demand for power i track you may have seen the bitcoin supra and that fun initiative to grow bitcoin 
uh, pit race. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that track. I didn't get up there as much as I wanted to over the years, uh, but did spend some time there. Uh, great venue, great track, fun time, uh, truly. Uh, and just out of nowhere, it felt like, right? I mean, they had signed deals with, you know, major car clubs like SCCA uh, for multi-year championships uh, being held there. Signed those documents in just last year. Or maybe it was the beginning of this year, either way. Some way, somehow, basically, they got an AI deal. And uh, it's rumors, but it's pretty much like, these are definitely true rumors uh, that they've sold for over $200 million, uh, this racetrack to be converted to an AI data center. And they're right next uh, to a major uh, power line and they have this huge infrastructure, they have existing buildings, they have so much stuff pulled already. And at that price, they probably just leave literally everything from even like the vehicles and shit there. Be like, yo, see you later. Um, Cause there's just one family that owns this racetrack. And I mean, and they've just created, you know, multi-century generational wealth, it's just wild. Uh, there's a lot of profitable miners out there right now, but a lot of them are shitcoin miners and that just ain't that exciting. So we click over to Bitcoin because just as a reminder, when you look at all the proof of work cryptocurrencies and you rank them by market cap, there's definitely a coin you're not going to see on here anymore. That's Cadena uh, because they've rugged. They said we're ceasing business operations, but the community can have the coin and run it. Uh, well, we'll see if somebody or some major, you know, anything picks us up and tries to run with it there's definitely um it's an interesting value proposition uh but definitely not for me i would rather fork it and you know forge my own path uh but i'm shocked seeing the liquidity normally you see the bottom fall out even further uh so this is when all the insiders knew and dumped and then this is when the news uh broke follow me on twitter you can see great insightful tweets like this one where i say i'm tired of shit coins but hey, if you want to mine Bitcoin, but you don't want to run the miners yourself, check out Musk Miners. We work with them. I've got some gear running at their farm. They support the channel and they will be happy to host Bitcoin miners for you today. They have everything from air cooled miners uh, to hydro miners. And if you want to mine shit coins, they can help you with that. But more importantly, is that they can help you mine some Bitcoin too. Speaking of Bitcoin mining, if you want to get a mini Bitcoin miner that's uh, all in one unit with a Bitcoin node, we collaborated with Power Mining to uh, create the Bitcoin x gamma node and uh some people freak out the price but if you price out an umbral home which is a plug and play bitcoin node right which is essentially what half of this is or the bottom piece of this is with these specs it's 500 dollars, right then you add a bit x gamma you could say those trade for 100 to 200 dollars you can use code vibes to take 10 percent off and you know full disclosure right i make 10 percent of the sale so it may be a wow 7-eleven for a bid axe at first glance uh but it's actually priced really competitively uh compared to uh competitor products uh looking at current uh miner prices right so we normally use resellers here because that's like what these miners actually trade at whether it's a little bit higher or a little bit lower uh direct from manufacturers for numerous reasons um and uh, of course, you know, we have an affiliate link. Everybody has the ability for affiliate links and stuff like that uh, for to order miners from Coin Mining Central. And you can use, again, code BossCoin to save some coin here too. Uh, but why I bring this up to stand out, right? If you want basically the best current generation Bitcoin miner you can get, um, dot, like on the higher end, new dollar for dollar, you're looking at the BitDeer Seal Miner A2 Pro, 255 terahash a second. If you want the next generation efficiency, it's the S23 right now at 318 tera hash at a lower power consumption, but a, but a crazy price, $8,700. Good luck making that back if Bitcoin's not trading half a million dollars per coin. The actual best bang for buck right now is uh, the S21 Plus, uh, which comes in around uh, $3,300, I think, uh, normally. And uh, these are also in USA stock, but I'm just trying to give you a, a, an example and a pulse on like what these full size miners cost. And obviously there's many miners and we've talked about those in other videos, like the BitX Gamma was like the best, you know, starter mini Bitcoin miner. And then you can look at something in between like a mini three by Canon. Uh, I have having problems with my Canon Q, so I can't recommend them right now. I need to spend some time and look at that and figure it out and see if it's a me problem or, or if it's a oh, that hardware problem. Uh, so I've been modernizing my, my Bitcoin fleet with uh, S21 XPs. Uh, I'm having decent time with them overall. Uh, two are getting repaired, like I said. One just got back um, and a bit may keeps voiding my warranties, blaming uh, Brains OS that I put on these. 
uh, for their failures. Uh, just to be clear, none of these have been immersed. And I would never immerse the S21 series and above. Uh, they're doing terrible in immersion, and uh, that's sad to say, as you know, I, I own and operate the immersion mining farm. Bringing it back to Bitcoin news and stuff like that, less about me, more about that stuff. Uh, according to uh, Blockspace Media, Bitdeer's asymmetric upside Seal miner's $17 billion market in H AI, HPC, and one Zeta hash of mining. A uh, recent post uh, by them. Here's a couple clips from that. Hash rate grows. Even if you add a fixed amount of gigawatts in the network, it grows because the efficiency of the ASICs increases over time, just from semiconductor yeah. fabrication. But how do you think about when you do model any extraneous things like tariffs, AI, HPC kind of popping up? You're like, eh, irrelevant. Yeah, I mean, there's wiggle room in the forecast depending on exogenous yeah. events. But Foxley does a great job. Another post by them is for Bitcoin mining to survive, we need to rethink layer twos, right? Basically build on top of Bitcoin, more transaction fees, going to miners, and basically just building, supporting, growing, and sustaining the Bitcoin network. Kobe created an NFT and said, if you buy this for 25 million, we'll bring up only his popular show back, right? And then uh, Coinbase bought Echo, which he's been working on, Kobe and some other people for a couple of years, for I think like 375 million. And uh, so Kobe made half a million dollars every day he was working on echo based on uh those numbers pre-tax and then also cool 25 mil uh with the nft if you're wondering where retail crypto bid went according to bloomberg a new report from 10x research shows that retail investors have lost an estimated 17 billion while trying to gain indirect bitcoin exposure through digital asset treasury firms like meta planet and michael Saylor's strategy losses stem mainly from excessive equity or excuse me uh, equity premiums which uh, allow these companies to issue shares of valuations far above their actual crypto holding cypher the alpha of ai power i own a lot of stocks i've talked about today i hope that was implied and just assume i own everything even if i don't i don't care right you know disclosure i'm not trying to shill shit i don't care if you buy this is just a video if you like it subscribe if not you know gfy so uh cypher is paying 2.7 cents per kilowatt hour one of the lowest energy costs in the on earth for ai infrastructure it's not a stat that's a moat right you know you know aggressive twitter type post um they, they don't compete it dictates i'll be honest it kind of sounds like ai wrote it uh but who gives a shit the bottom line is well I, actually i find that stuff annoying but it, it's also like sort of like that twitter type speech i view it as like high-end brain rot but the data is the important part here all right 2.7 cents ai is booming yo you want to build ai why work with us we've got access to huge power already and we have the best electricity rate you've ever heard of locked in like i wish i had 2.7 cents per kilowatt hour. i'm paying nine cents per kilowatt hour right i could if i if i could take over cypher mining i could run my shit three times over and then still be paying less what do you think you buy bitcoin you buy bitcoin miners you already have Bitcoin? You already run a Bitcoin miners? You buying Bitcoin related stocks or none of the above? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm Bosk, you're on the Bosk Queen YouTube channel. This is Tales of Bosk, my super cutie pup. And we run 10 seconds of Tales on every video for 100 reasons. And if no better reason, then she's just adorable and I love her. Good luck, goodbye. Yeah.